Now a quick overview for the Deimos A600 Ultra. Uh, just a quick look at the cover. Uh, we've actually moved the screws to the front for ease of access to be able to remove. Uh, to remove the cover, you just gotta give it a quick little pop on the sides and you'll be able to take the top off. Uh, once you remove the top, you'll notice a little protective cover for our control board. That comes off actually pretty easy by just pushing the two tabs on the side. It'll lift and you'll be able to slide it over to the corner. Uh, just a quick overview of the board. This is where your main power is coming from the transformer, your 24 volts. And this is of course where you would hook up your battery backup. Uh, this is your power going from the L and N going into your transformer coming out. Uh, and right here you have your LCD screen. And right above here, this guy right here, this is where you would connect your master slave uh, Biba cards or your Wi-Fi TCP link uh, U-Link card. So right here is where your connection would be, of course, with the connection on this side, board going that way. Uh, and another qu uh, quick thing is here are the buttons. You have three buttons. You have your OK button, your minus button, and your plus button. This is how you will maneuver in and out of your menu. Uh, now, the first thing you want to do before you get anything going, and of course, you have your photo beam set up, and of course, this is just a demo, but you have your photo beam set up and you have your limit switches set up. And in the closed position, you're able to begin now the quick setup. You would just push the OK button once and it will ask you the language. You would want, if it's not already on English, you'd want to scroll and find English, select OK. And then of course, it's going to ask you the direction. It'll be right hand or left hand. Um, once you select your right hand or left hand, well, I'm going to leave it alone because it's already in the correct spot. You push OK, then it's gonna take you directly to the presets. What the presets are is actually a predetermined menu selections um, for how you want this operator to, uh, to run. So this is the automatic residential selection. Um, the next one would be your semi-automatic residential uh, selection. This one is more your automatic commercial. It'll maybe change a couple things like fast closing after somebody goes over the, the photo beam to, so you don't keep it open for so long and then you have your semi-automatic closing. And last but not least, you have the IND function. The IND function, what that is, is pretty much like a dead man switch, meaning you have to constantly hold the button for the operator to move. Uh, for our demo purposes here, we will select AR, push OK, it'll say program for a few seconds, and after you see that, it'll actually go to auto set. When you see auto set, you would just push OK, make sure nobody's walking in and out of the, uh, the gateway, nobody gets in the way of the photo beams, and then you would push OK. You should get a countdown of three, two, one, and the gate will start moving. Now, I've seen this happen up to three to four times. So just let it run back and forth, full open and close, so it actually gets its slow down distances and its basic torque setup. Once it finishes, if everything went OK, you should get an OK, all right? Once you get an OK, you're able to push the OK button and it'll take you directly into remote programming. And how remote programming works is, it's very simple. You know, whether you have the four button or the two button remotes, you would just have to push the two top buttons at exactly the same time until you see the light come on. The screen will say release, you let go, and quickly tap the button you want to use and you'll get an okay and a number. Okay one, okay two, okay 13. Um, and you could actually go up to about 63. Um, and it will stay here all day until you are done. So you don't have to worry about it going out of the way. Uh, once you finish with all your T-boxes or your QB touch or your middles, you would just push the OK button. It'll say end and SLC actually is just telling you that it's closed. And of course, once it's open, you would just get an SLO. Another quick thing that I wanted to bring up is if you notice while it's closing, it shows you some numbers here. The number to the left, that is the torque it's actually using and the numbers to the right is where you have it set, your threshold of what the torque's gonna be, all right? So just a quick little info right there for your little tidbit. So, and of course you're able to use your plus and minus buttons to move back and forth. Thank you so much.